Well, one way to do it that's quite easy is to go into the not transform option, but into data restructure. So you go into data, and instead of going to transpose, you need to go into restructure. And re there's a restructure data, data wizard in SPSS that's fairly sophisticated and it allows you to do some, some fairly complicated restructures. And in this case, I want to restructure selected cases into variables because I want to switch. I want to put all these data associated with these raters into columns. So I go into uh, next. And I actually only need one piece of information here. It's the subject. I want the subject as the identifier variable. And so each subject is going to consist of one row of data. And that's what I want in this case. I want Gary Smith data to all be in one row of data. So Ferdinand D. Ferdinand is going to have all of his or her uh, the genders too, I think that's a, a male. Uh, so all of Ferdinand's data is going to go at the end of the self ratings here. It's actually going to go over here. So it's all, the, all the ratings are going to continue going along this column, uh, this row. Okay? So I'll do it and I'll show you what, what it can actually do, even though you might not totally understand what I want it to do. So I go into Next, and I choose Subjects, and I put that into my Identifier variable, and then I click on Next. And yes, we'll be, data will be sorted by the Identifier and Index variables. Yep, that's what I want. And then I want to group it by Index, not by the original variable. Group by Index. Restructure data now. Yes. And just click OK. All right, so now SPSS has sorted my data whoops, in such a way that I've only got four rows of data. And that's because I only had uh, four, whoops, it actually, uh, I only had four groups. I can't go back because the data is gone. Uh, that's a good important point here is you should always save it into a new file name because if you save it now it'll save it over the original and you should always keep your originals. But we can see that the first um, uh, data point is for David Witt and uh, David Witt's data uh, is, this is his self-report data here and it's followed by the raters of, data, of David Witt. So Gorang Nike is the next writer. So all of his ratings for David Witt are here. And then the next writer starts again. And Jake's keep going. And we can see that uh, another writer is added to this row, R. Joshuansky or Joshwaski. So it keeps going. And so each uh, subject now has all the writer ratings in a row sequentially. Uh, across all the columns. And now I can actually calculate correlations between the variables or calculate averages across the variables. All right, so that's how that's done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot more to doing restructuring, but this is just the basics. Thanks for watching howtostats.com.